the Ferrari 365 GTB4 Daytona. I just loved its drop-dead gorgeous looks, that glorious V12 engine, and on its day, it was the fastest car on the planet. Ferrari 250 short wheelbase. Just love that brilliant balanced design. The 12 cylinder up front was special and it was supposed to have the best handling ever. Well, I guess this is unexpected from me because people probably expect a really fancy name, but I think it's a premier Padmini. And it's more for sentimental reasons because it's the first car I ever bought. It's the first car I ever raced in. It's the first car I ever won a race in. The picture you're seeing is the particular car I'm talking about. And yeah, that's why it holds a special place in my heart. McLaren F1. It was the fastest car in the world for the longest time. It proved itself in motorsport. Oh, and the driver's seat was in the middle. I think it would be the Ferrari F40 because it was undiluted Ferrari. But uh, the F355 would come a close second for me. That has to be without a shadow of a doubt the Ferrari F40. It's the last car Enzo Ferrari signed off on. I think it's the greatest Ferrari ever built. And look at it, it's so, so pretty, so futuristic for its time and looks futuristic even today. It's definitely my dream car. Well, that would be Ferrari's first hypercar, the 288 GTO. But I would have it in yellow because everything just pops. And of course, it's a 288. It's fast, it looks beautiful and it sounds gorgeous. Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. Fantastic to look at and sounds even better. It's got to be the Mercedes SLS AMG Black Series. I love the design. I love the gulping doors. It's got a crazy V8. There's just so much to love about that car. The Porsche 911. It's a timeless design, a masterpiece of engineering, and over years has been finely honed and fettled to just get better and better. In any of its various forms, the Porsche 911. It has a rather unique engine layout, and because of that, it drives like nothing else. And because it comes in so many variants, there really is a sports car for everybody in there. Well, that would be the Porsche 911 Speedster. It's manual, it's fast, and it's dripping of retro cool. Well, it keeps changing periodically, but right at the moment, I'd have to say it's the Porsche 718 Spider. Why? That car's light, it's nimble, it's sexy, it's got the performance, it's got the handling, it's just every bit a Porsche. Ferrari 812 super fast. An incredible 800 horsepower V12 in the nose, hypercar performance, and you can even drive it like a GT. The Ferrari SP1 Monza. And that's because it's just so impractical, but it's so pretty. It's just reminiscent of the Speedster race cars of the 1950s. Okay, I'm gonna cheat a bit on this answer. Uh, it's not on sale as yet, but it's something I'd really desperately wait for. It's the Aston Martin Valkyrie, and here are the specs of interest. A 6.5 liter V12, naturally aspirated, 1000 horsepower and 11,000 RPM redline and just 1000 kgs. It cannot get better. It's got to be the Mercedes AMG E63S. It's fast, it's practical, it's the perfect sleeper around. Mercedes G Wagon, such an iconic design, and that V8 is just insane. The Alfa Romeo Giulia. Why? Just look at it. Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Finally, a super sedan that is not German and is very good to look at. Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Ferrari developed V6 under the bonnet up front, handling that's supposed to be better than an M3 or an AMG and an incredible design. What else do you want? The Mazda Miata MX-5. This iconic, dependable and affordable roadster with its go-kart-like handling makes every ride in it a thrill. It would have to be something small, something light, uh, something maybe like the Mazda MX-5 or better yet, the Alpine A110. Uh, apparently, it's really nice to drive, very sporty and as an added plus, it's also got a very good ride. Well, that would have to be the Toyota GR Supra and the thing I love about it is that it doesn't feel safe when you're driving, it is naughty and it's happy to be naughty but still, you can push it so hard and it won't put a step wrong. 
the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Now, honestly, I don't think this is objectively a very good car, but the performance to price ratio is just hilarious. And it would be the most powerful car in India. That has to be the about 124 Spider. It's a two-seater Italian sports car with a matte black bonnet, reminiscent of the old uh, Fiat Spiders in the past. What's not to like? The Tesla Model X P100D. Ever since I've driven that car, I'm a fan. The Jaguar E-Type. This fashion icon of the 60s is a rolling sculpture and one of the most beautiful cars ever made. 1933 Alfa Romeo Monza. It was practically a Formula One car which you could drive on the road. The same mechanicals, the same suspension. You could do that in those days. I'd have to say two of them. One is a 1903 Humbrick because I've seen this car being worked on. I've seen it being restored. I've seen it spring to life. Those over 100 year old parts all come together and be perfectly functional even today. And of course, the other one that I really like is the Talbot Largo, the T150 CSS, because it's just such a sexy looking car. The Lamborghini Countach, the original from the early 70s, designed by Marcello Gandini. That wedge shape would influence all mid-engine Lamborghinis to come. Without a shadow of doubt, the 1959 Ferrari 250 GT SWB, the most beautiful car ever made. My favorite classic car actually is a Ferrari 250 GT Lusso. The, uh, not the short wheelbase, but the extended wheelbase, the luxury version. I think it's probably the prettiest car ever made. Well, I don't really get vintage cars, so I'd stick with a classic. And well, it would be the 288 GTO again. Bentley 8 liter, capable of doing over 200 kilometers an hour in 1930. I'm not too much into classics, but if I had to choose one, it would be the Mercedes. W140 S600. Now that's the most regal, the most gangster car ever. The Range Rover SV Autobiography Supercharged. It's just as home pulling up to a red carpet gala event as it is being up to its headlights in muck. Range Rover Vogue has everything you'd want from an SUV, actually has everything you'd want in a car. The new Land Rover Defender. Its unbeatable off-road ability and the way it conquers everything in its way is just mind-boggling. The Jeep MB, the original, the first, the Willys if you will. Super design, it still looks good today. It's still capable off-road and it has a purity that no other SUV has. It'd have to be the Gypsy because I rallied in one for so long. It's a handful of a car, but it's still one that just gives you joy every single time you drive it. No prizes for guessing, the Mercedes AMG G63. I'm not too much into SUVs again, but uh, if I had to pick, it would be the previous generation Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Favorite SUV? Well, that would be the Audi RS Q8. It's fast and it rolls the least. 